All right, so I just finished up grinding the, the, the second side with the 45 micron belt. These belts that I, that I use um, are Trizac Gator belts. And bring this over a little bit. You kind of see it has like, almost looks like tire tread on the belt. I like those. Um, I can, I can um, use a, I can, I can go back actually over this tread and I can, I can um, basically true it up every, every time I need to. Like I can probably get a few blades out of that and then I'll true it up again. Um, basically just removing some material and have exposing new abrasive. And so I can use those belts probably 10 times at least. Saves, saves a lot. Um, you can see the belt's not very wide. It's only an inch wide, but my wheel is, is actually a good bit wider. Um, that's good too because I don't get any roll on the edge of the, the belt. The wheel keeps everything supported. So I think it gives me um, better accuracy. Um, so basically, just turn the, the chuck off here. It's a magnetic chuck. Um, and move this back a little. Okay. One thing that you can usually tell your piece is flat is when you go to take it off the chuck, it won't come off. <laughs> um, so I took that off there. See the finish is pretty nice. I kind of have to, I have to try to take off an equal amount on each side because as you can see, the, the hole for the thumb disc is already drilled and tapped, and you don't want that to be off center. So, let's see how good of a job we did. You know, it's important that the whole thing's flat and, and that it's uniform in thickness. Um, it's also important, though, that it's not warped and that it's straight. And, and this, this blade is, is not warped or straight. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure around the hole and see how... Um, how good everything came out as far as being true around the hole. And so it's kind of tricky with but measuring it like this camera. But about one six nine five. Six nine five five. One six nine five. One six nine five. So that's pretty good. It's almost dead nuts on. We'll go down here. One six nine five five. So that's that's pretty good for for um a homemade surface grinder conversion. I mean I th I think it's it's super accurate. Um I've, I've been getting great results with it. Um, I think it. Without it, I don't really see how someone can make a great knife. I think you can make a good knife, but I don't, I don't say you make a, a great knife like some of these guys. Like Pete Carey makes a great knife, super, super smooth. It's flippers, doesn't matter if it has bearings or not. He makes a, a great knife, and if, and if it just came with phosphor bronze, it would flip just as good as it would with IKBS or any other thing. That's all due to everything being flat and parallel, just super tight tolerances. So anyway, the next step is I'm just going to lap this hole, and um, that's so that pivot will fit in really tight. Don't want any slop in that. So that's next.